okay? <laughs> well, it's been a while since we've talked about Sea Shepherd's battle in the Southern Ocean, but as the whaling season comes to a close this year, the conservation group is claiming victory. Everybody loves whales, right? I mean, they're awesome, especially ones that talk. I don't eat chips. No, I only eat plankton. Yes, we know. You only eat plankton. Unfortunately, the Japanese government likes them a little too much. And every year, whaling ships head south to Australian Antarctic waters to research them. Back home, some Japanese diners also like to research them. This person is full of research. For the last 10 years, environmental warriors, the Sea Shepherd organisation, has been battling on the high seas to end what they claim is the illegal slaughter of whales. It's been an all-out war. Today, they're claiming victory, with reports the whaling fleet has about faced and headed north, weeks before the usual season's end. We've now heard that the Japanese whaling fleet is returning home with only 30% of their quota this year. But today, the Japanese Fisheries Agency confirmed 266 whales dead this year, all in the name of so-called research. Number Japanese whaling fleets have slaughtered at least 10,000 whales in Antarctica in the last 25 years. Some of them endangered. It just makes no sense. So while this year's catch has dwindled, just how much longer will the Sea Shepherd have to fight before the whales of Antarctica are saved from this bloody fate? Captain Paul Watson is the president of the Sea Shepherd, but he's a land lover tonight. Paul, as we just heard, 266 whales were still slaughtered this season. It's still a lot of dead whales. It's actually the best uh, year, except for last year, that we've uh, accomplished over the last eight years. Uh, usually they take uh, between 500 and 800 uh, while we're down there. So we've gotten more effective every year. So clearly, Paul, you're taking credit for that. But a spokesman for, the, uh, for Japanese whalers, Glenn Inwood, has said a quote I'd like to get your response to. He says, the Sea Shepherd has shut nothing down. <laughs> What's your, your reaction? Well, Glenn, uh, Glenn Inwood's a paid PR guy. I mean, he's paid to say that kind of thing. Uh, they're pretty angry at us. We shut them down. They left uh, three, uh, two weeks earlier than they should have. Uh, they were running for three months. They, we chased them 17,000 miles. Two of the three harpoon votes were pulled out of the, out of the hunt continuously. Uh, no, uh, we, took, we could take credit for the fact that they only got 26%. Now, you've said before that your aim is to financially break the whaling model, the, the fact that you've shut down their, uh, their hunt early two years in a row. Clearly, they haven't made the income that they want. They haven't reached their quota. How many more years do you have to do that before you break them entirely? Our, uh, from the beginning was to sink them economically. We did that last year. They, they're, hundreds of, they're about $200 million in debt. There's no profit in it. It's just a glorified welfare project now. Now, there's still the battle for hearts and minds in Japan, if I can put it that way, Paul. And a recent survey showed that 52% of Japanese support whaling, only about 13% oppose it. Are you doing anything in Japan to, to try to change Japanese minds? No, we're down in the whale sanctuary. What is it about the word sanctuary the Japanese don't understand? This is a Southern Ocean whale sanctuary. I don't care if 100% of the Japanese are opposed to it. They're killing whales in the sanctuary and in the Australian Antarctic Territory. This has nothing to do with Japan. They have no business being there. So Paul, don't you think that if you could convince the Japanese population to change their position, that would apply a different sort of pressure on the Japanese government? The whole ball game would change. It'd be in your interest, wouldn't it? Organizations have been to do that for 30 years and failed. Diplomacy has failed. The only thing that has saved whales in the Southern Ocean is our direct interventions. Hey, Paul, you've done some amazing work down there. Have you ever received a thank you note from the whales? <laughs> <laughs> the fact that they're still alive, uh, the fact that, you know, over 800 whales will be swimming free because of our efforts this year, I think that uh, that's all the thanks we need. Well, Paul, it's a noble war you're waging, and we thank you for it. Thank you. No one buys the research line. Like, it's never been explained. People may get behind it if they said, look, we're this close to a flying car. We just need 100 more whales. <laughs> it's a very valid point. We'll take a break now. Plenty more on the way.